may recall the protests in L.A. back in uh, May and June where some people turned violent and looted and burned stores. Well, today the LAPD announced several arrests from those incidents. KCAL 9's Rachel Kim tells us one man was even arrested for attempted murder of an officer. These are the images many remember from the protests and demonstrations across the Southland that began in May. Since then, the multi-agency Safe LA Task Force was formed to conduct criminal investigations for significant crimes during that period. Today, they talked about some of the major arrests they've made so far. The LAPD says they've closed 42 of their 149 cases. Chief Michael Moore said one of their most significant arrests is of Gabriel Estrada for attempted murder of a police officer. Sir. I recall vividly as we had officers that were being fired upon in the Venice area and being shot at and an attempt murder that occurred in two separate instances with a description of a vehicle and a suspect description. That, protest, that individual was later then found downtown a few days later and I was arrested on June 3rd. Inside his vehicle was a firearm. That investigation, in my view, resulted in saving an officer's life. The LAPD also arrested this man, George Cruz, for arson of a police vehicle, looting, and for having an assault weapon and narcotics. He said that arrest came from a tip from the public. Many of these arrests are the direct result of tips and leads, and our community stepping forward, including demonstrators, people who were lawfully and, and rightfully in our streets. Santa Monica's police chief said they found that people who committed crimes like looting, burglary and arson in their city also committed crimes in Long Beach and Los Angeles. Many of those crimes, she says, were well coordinated. For the Santa Monica Police Department, that has resulted in 28 search warrants and 19 arrests. One notable arrest has already been touched upon by ATF and that involves the arson fire at the Saki House restaurant. Detectives reviewed video surveillance and identified suspects from that crime. So far to date, the Long Beach Police Department has uh, arrested 23 individuals to hold those people responsible for the acts of violence and the burglaries and such that they committed against the hardworking small business owners uh, in our communities. The task force emphasized that they support lawful demonstrations and protect First Amendment rights. But what they will not tolerate are crimes and violence. They say two men who have been charged with arson both face five to 20 years in federal prison. These are serious charges for serious crimes, and we hope this will send a message to others who seek to cause mayhem during periods of civil unrest. The task force is offering a reward of up to $10,000 for information leading to an arrest in these cases. You're asked to submit a tip, videos, or pictures to SafeLATips at LAPD.online. You can also remain anonymous. Reporting from downtown LA, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.